how to add audio visualizers quickly and easily. Maybe you want to create an eye-catching preview for your podcast, or maybe you just want to add a sound wave effect to your video. First things first, I'm gonna head over to veed.io, which is the online editor that I'll be using to add this effect. If you don't have an account, you can create one for free. And then on the homepage, I'll select upload your video, then upload a file, and then I'll select my example clip from my computer and hit open. And it's also worth mentioning that you can use this effect with both a video or an audio file. Once your media is imported, you'll see it sitting down at the bottom of the screen in the video timeline. And now we're ready to add some audio visualizers. In this video that I've uploaded, it's just me talking to the camera, so that's gonna give the visualizer something to react to, and you'll get the same effect if there's music playing on your clip as well. To add the visualizer itself, all you need to do is go over to the Elements tab on the left-hand side. And as you can see, Veed will let you add shapes to your video, you can add emojis, you can add progress bars, and right at the bottom, you can add sound waves. And in this menu, I can select the arrow on the right-hand side and look through all the different presets for sound waves. And if you select one, the editor will automatically drop that preset on top of your video. And now you can go back to the menu on the left-hand side to make any edits. At the top, you can see there's some style options in this drop-down menu, and there are a lot of different options to choose from. So just go through them and see which one works for you. I'm gonna stick with waves. Underneath that, you can change the color just by picking from the color picker here. And under that, by sliding this bar along, you can change the opacity. You can also control the sensitivity of the sound waves in the control settings. So you can change how much the sound waves react to your audio. And then over on the video canvas, I can select my sound bar and I can click and drag it to wherever I want to see it within the frame. And then I can also make it longer by clicking and dragging the ends of the box like so. And I can also make it bigger and smaller by doing the same thing. And finally, there's this rotate option as well, so I can have it on any axis or angle that I want. At the moment, the visualizer is playing throughout the whole clip, but if you want to adjust the timings for when it appears, just go down to the video timeline and just click and drag the ends of the clip to choose exactly when you want it to start and when you want it to end. So now if we press play, you can see the sound wave reacting to the audio in my video. How to add audio visualizers quickly and easily. And now I can add as many audio visualizers or sound waves to my video canvas as I want, just by following the exact same steps. The cool thing about Veed is that you can also add text to your video, you can add filters, and you can even change the size of your video for different social media platforms. And if you are just uploading an audio file to add a soundbar to, you might also want to upload an image to go with that, just by going to upload, and then upload image, and you can upload an image to put on top of your audio. So make sure you check out the link in the description so you can test out Veed for yourself. But now we're ready to export this clip. All I'm gonna do is go to the top right hand corner of the screen and select export and then export video and Veed will now render my file. On this last page here, I can now review my video like so. How to add audio visualizers quickly and easily. And if you're happy, you can just select download MP4 and that will now download my final video to my computer. So that is how to add an audio visualizer to your video. Let me know down in the comments below, what are you using your visualizers for? Is it for something to do with music or is it something for a podcast? And if you want some more easy to follow editing tutorials just like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.